What's up, everybody? <gasps> it's your boy Ooch and uh, back again, once again. How y'all doing today? All right, folks. We got another chapter, chapter 82. I have no idea what to expect outside of the uh, backstory on Bardock versus Gas because that's literally what this chapter is called. And you know, I'm hoping that we do get some teases or maybe they do end up on Vampa because they're teleporting. I'm talking about Goku and Gas. But without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so what the... Okay, yeah, so they're still... <laughs> the action is going literally everywhere. They're, it looks like they're on a moon. So is there like... These are so a lot of these images are from the preview images that I did a video on. If you missed that, then you know you could obviously check that out if you want, but there's no point now because we're reading the actual pages and you cannot escape me, says Gas. Literally, as he gets garbage dumped all over him, that's what you get for warping so recklessly. Go clean up in the river over there, I don't mind. We can get back to fighting after that. Well, Goku is just too polite in, in the worst situations ever. So now they end up in someone's bath. There you go. Perfect time for a bath. Okay, yep. So Toriyama inserting some of that comedy or Toyotaro, I should say. Right? All right. Here comes Elik. Now, where did those two go? Now, Vegeta is all by himself. Okay, this is going to be interesting. He's buying time. Jumping from planet to planet. Oil. Get a look on Gas's position via the tracker and his comms device. Got it. All right. So they're gonna be able to track them. Okay. So let's see. So they're in a. They're in the galactic prison. Oh snap. Okay. Enough of this. Stop leaping from one location to another. <laughs> you ready? You ready to admit that I'm better than you at instant teleportation? You're still going on about that? Hey, ain't that the heater's kid brother? Oh yeah, he used to be a real little guy. Oh, I remember- I recognize that dude. I forget from where, but... Maybe it was from the- the Moro stuff? Maybe- I'm not sure. Psst, kiddo, remember us? It's been a while. Looks like you got a bone to pick with Son Goku too. Bust us out of this joint and we'll lend you a hand. Gas looked at him and he said, The dregs of Sagambo's gang, huh? Have no need of your aid. Okay, oh yeah, so... Right, 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 okay. Kid's real full of himself. Remember the first time we met him? He was so scared he wet himself. I did not urinate on myself. Oh, wow. Oh, interesting, okay. A another side of gas. I mean, if he was that young, then, I mean, I can understand that. Nah, you totally wet yourself. All like, big brother, I'm scorned. Help me. <laughs> oh, Goku's laughing at him. Is that true? Gas is not happy to hear that. I said there was no urination involved. What about the wet stain we saw then? Does your tribe cry out of their crotches? Huh, sick burn, man. I did not wet myself. It was only a few drops because I had been holding it for so long. I can't believe this conversation is actually happening mid-fight right now. Like, But, you know, Dragon Ball wouldn't be without its comedy, so here we go. Well, dang, you really did wet yourself. So now they're back, and he let Elik and Oil trying to track him. Got a lock on his signal. He's in the galactic prison. What are they doing there? Nope, hang on. They just warped even further away. That idiot. So, you just do everything your big brother says? You're way stronger than him. I bet you can make your own choices. Uh-oh, Goku trying to uh, plant the seeds. Okay. I seek power for Elik's sake alone. I follow his commands in order to make the heaters... The supreme organization in the universe. He throws key blasts at him. Goku says, oh, gotcha. I guess you totally respect your brother. I was once the weakest among us, but Elik raised me to this level. I would do anything for him. Okay, so he's pretty faithful to his brother. That's kind of nice. Goku says, sure, that explains it. Elik's will is absolute. Are you sure about that, says Goku? How far can you trust him? My own brother almost killed me a while back, so you might want to watch your back. That's probably the first mention of Raditz that I can remember in a very long time. That's actually kind of cool. That's the most Raditz you'll ever you'll ever get. So I I I, I yeah, like, I'm not even gonna entertain that any more than that. <laughs> what next, Elik? 
Never mind them for now. The only ones left here are half dead already. Let's mop up these stragglers first. Sweet. Sounds like it's our turn for some action. Oh, no. Okay, so... Okay, so now they're gonna try to take out Granola while he's down. But Naito's still trying to heal him. But still, we're going back to Goku and Gas. I'm not sure if they're gonna end up on Vampa. Even though they are basically like everywhere else, I just don't think that they're going to be on the planet. Because we're almost pretty much halfway through this chapter already. So, uh, Gas blasts through like an asteroid some aliens are like yikes they end up on a galactic patrol uh spaceship it looks like goku's hands are shaking darn i can't keep playing defense much longer hang on a sec G goku there we go uh-oh okay where did they go off to now what the hell is this Whis? Oh, nay. Oh, okay, wait a minute. Okay, so Whis is literally chilling on some camel-looking thing. Okay, he's having some uh, ice cream or some shit. I don't even know what that is. With the oracle fish. Hmm, isn't it the del delectable oracle fish? And then Whis... Oh my god, so they ended up on wherever Whis is at. Goku? Lucky for me, you're hanging out th in this realm, Whis. And why have you come to me? Gas says, who is this? My master, who happens to be an angel. Wow, so this is the first time I think we're even hearing Goku refer to Whis as his master. I could be wrong, but I, I don't remember him ever calling him master. Sorry, Whis, but can I leave this guy with you for a minute? What? Whis says, huh? He goes, see you, guess. <laughs> what, is, what is Goku doing? So then he goes back to the Galactic Patrol spaceship. I don't know why. And then he goes back to... Okay, so it looks like he's instant transporting back towards every single spot that they were just at. Because then he's at the prison, and he's at the planet before that, so on and so forth. So what the hell is he doing? He's like backtracking, I guess, all the way back to Vegeta and Granola. Okay. So Whis is just here, and then did he just... No way. So, you mean to tell me that he got that far out, dropped him off with Whis, and now he's just back to where Granola is? So maybe... So, I think... I, I mean, I guess that's kind of smart, but then at the same time, like, what? Like, that's so... I'm sure at some point, Gas is gonna be able to figure out his way back don't you know but i don't know that's it's a good it's a good time to buy time for sure so goku does end up back he's uh blocking manaito away from the other relatives or whatever huh how are you back here alone what did you do with gas he looks like Shh. gas is like crap where did he go then Whis is like if you must know goku's return to planet cereal it's a distance too great for you to warp directly Wow. Which way is Planet Serial? Which direction? Hmm, <laughs> that way. So, with Whis not being able to get involved, I feel like the fact that he kind of just gave Gas the answer is just more or less him being neutral than just being completely one-sided to Goku. But that's kind of whack because my man literally just helped the enemy. But whatever, I guess I don't know. This is why they don't get involved. They're not. They're not. They're not supposed to, at least. So. So is he flying back? So my man could breathe in space, no problem. All right. Oh my! Why couldn't he have stayed for a more leisurely visit? And then Weez goes, especially when this planet has such scrumptious desserts, right? Oracle fish. Oracle says, "Who was that?" And then Weez goes, "Huh." <laughs> okay, I don't know. Uh, Goku helps up Granola. He's all beat up still. Gas will be back soon, but I bought us some time. Let's get to safety for now. So some android thing pulls up in like a flying vehicle. Get in. Let's take shelter at the old man's house. He has Vegeta in there already. It's like, it's you. Granola's talking half goggle thing. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. It really is. It, I didn't even realize that. So it's basically his eye satchel, but now it has, like, a robot body. I don't know if it, like, spawned it itself by itself or anything like that, but um, that's actually pretty interesting if I do say so myself. Okay, heads up, they're gonna run. Should it, should we unleash our inner natures and fight them? Oh, so do they have the same... Oh my god, I just realized. They must all have that inner nature form. I don't, I don't know if that's what they're calling that, but I just realized the uh, the girl, I don't know her name, she also has like those, those fang, those, like the fang, claw, nail, necklace type thing that Granola kind of had too. So I imagine they all can unlock that kind of power which makes sense so i just realized dude we're literally almost 30 pages in and we haven't seen no bardock versus gas so i think we're gonna get that now hopefully okay uh so we these our inner natures and fight them don't be stupid you two could never be that sane we'll retreat for now and wait for gas to get back oil keep an eye on them in the meantime got it okay so oil's gonna chill back and basically spy on them hello goku huh where'd this thing come from the hell did he get that from he literally what did we stick that in his pocket real quick it looked like a dragon radar i planted it on you earlier okay so that confirms this says Whis. you did but how when i must say i can't abide you interrupting my dessert time goku says sorry but you were just the right distance away and i knew he'd have to behave himself around you and then Whis goes, speaking of gas, he's hurtling toward you at breakneck speed. Who says, huh? He can fly through space? <laughs> you should reach your location within 20 of your Earth minutes. Damn, that conversion time. So they got 20 minutes of, of time to kill. 20 minutes isn't enough time for me to heal Granola. Tuh. By the by, has your training borne fruit yet, Goku? Goku says, honestly, I'm still having a lot of trouble with it. I just can't keep my heart calm the way you do, Whis. Whis says, that's understandable. As an angel, I am fundamentally different life form than you. Goku says, so how do I learn to use Ultra Instinct better? Then Whis says, how many times must I tell you? It's up to you to discover your own unique version of Ultra Instinct. Listen to the voice within you. Deep down, what are you really? Another one. I want my fucking royalties. I just, I want my royalties. Give me my fucking royalties. I've been calling this. What are you really? Let me, let me just finish the chapter. Let me just finish this chapter because y'all that really follow me, the real ones, y'all know what the hell I'm referring to. Yes! Okay? If you don't know, then go watch all my other videos, please, for the last freaking several years. Oh my God. What am I? Hey, son of Bardock, there's something I should show you. This is Granola. Oh, no, that's Benito saying that. Okay. Okay, here we are. Oh, yo, he has his scouter? Oh, a scouter. Yep, left behind by Bardock himself. It's yours now by all rights. What the hell is he going to do with that, though? This scouter was my dad's? And then Vegeta goes, allow me. Oh, yo, Vegeta put the John on. Oh, oh, oh. yo, that John, that, yo, that, yo, Vegeta with a scouter. Oh, that's a classic little Easter egg kind of reference there. It's broken. However, there's evidence of saved audio data. Uh-oh, I thought so. I've had it for 40 years, but I never could get it to play. What sort of data is it? Manito says, it should be a recording of the fight against gas. We might figure out how Bardock won that battle if we can get it to work. Oh, shit. Okay. Fomo could repair it, but give it to me. I can access the circuitry directly and play the audio via my speakers. Okay. And meanwhile, gas is literally just jet speed and still through space. Gas is headed back our way and he's super fast. That's speed. And that's without a spaceship. He's really some kind of ultimate being now. All right, so it's powered back up. Okay, so they got the, they got the scouter. <clears throat> that attack had to have some effect. Manito, use this chance to get as far away as you can. Ah, that's Bardock's voice. 
I'll slow gas down. Listen to me. You two have to stay alive. Stay alive. Oh my god! Yo, is Goku remembering? Dude, he literally heard. Oh my god, this is okay. This is the probably one of the biggest moments in the history of this story. The whole story, like Dragon Ball in general, because Goku heard his dad's voice. This is the first time he's hearing his father's voice since he left freaking planet Vegeta back in the day. And we see this in the Broly film, okay? And he, you see with him and his mom when they said stay alive and they're looking on, and they have their hand on the space pod. He, Goku literally had, I yo, Goku's never had this moment before. This is OD. Okay, okay, okay. You have to stay alive. <gasps> what? Wait, what? I, I, I don't understand. Wait, what? Okay, so... Uh, okay, wait, wait, wait. You guys have to see this. You guys have to see this. Look at this. Look at this. What? Oh, my God. What is happening? And then, okay, so now they show the chapter... This is the first time they've ever done this. This is actually kind of OD. Okay. So they're literally out here with the Bardock versus Gas. So now for the remaining like what? Like 10 pages. So this is actually a long chapter. This is actually longer than normal. This is around 50, 48 to be exact. But so 40 years ago. So Bardock's fighting. Take this. And he's fighting little Gas. Okay, Gas gets his back. Judging from his tail, I suppose he must be a Saiyan. And the powerful fighter, too. We believed only the low-class grunts were sent to this planet. Perhaps we were wrong. Okay, so they're fighting. They're going back and forth. Bardock deletes, yeets it away. Goes for the uppercut gut check. Oh, Bardock got some good offense in on Gas. But Gas is not powered up yet. I'm pretty sure that didn't finish him off. But Naito, use this chance to get as far away as you can. Yeah, I'll slow gas down. Listen to me. You two have to stay alive. Okay. Uh-huh. And then the gas comes back up. He goes, you cannot escape me. There's not even a scratch on you. What a monster. I'm going to end this now. I cannot afford to have Elik lose faith in me. Not here. And he ordered me to handle this without delay. Oh my god, and that's the chapter. Jesus. Oh my there's there's literally so much to unpack from this. <sighs> Alright, so with little little time that I have, because I am actually recording this while I'm working, I will say that this chapter was pretty godlike. I'm oh, I'm a little upset that we didn't get more of the Bardock versus Gas, you know, portion of this chapter. A good chunk of it was literally just still goku and gas but honestly though for what we got in this chapter the payoff the fact that there's something bigger going on here and it also ties into what i have been thinking and saying and theorizing i really feel like this is the time we are going to see some sort of super saiyan 4 reincarn not reincarnation but reimagined something i really can't believe that it's uh, that 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 i would that i'm able to well to me it's like it's not even hard i just see what happens and then i just go with it but the fact that we literally told them you have to you have to figure it out and do it on your own look within yourself you like you like that's what they're teasing they're teasing like you, they, like they're uh, at the end of the day they're gonna have to rely on what they got because when you think about it in this light Goku and Vegeta are Saiyans. They're not angels. They're not higher deities. They're not higher beings or anything like that. So naturally, the way that they are built up, like as a being, is not the same. And yet, you can obviously learn techniques that are not of your own. Obviously, they, they learned instant transmission and all that from the Yard Rats. And here they're learning how to use God Key and channel into the God Key and like use, you know, and Goku's like trying to do this like Ultra Instinct technique which is, you know, something that those higher beings do and all that kind of stuff. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to just grant you their level of power because at the end of the day, they're always supposed to be stronger than everyone else, literally, quite literally beneath them. So it's up to them, as in Goku in this position, 
to discover something that is within them there he's gonna have to figure it out how to use it in his own way so technically whenever he figures out how to truly master it it's going to be his own version and that's how he's going to be able to do it so if there's something that's deep within inside him that he's not understanding or knowing i i just i just know in my freaking soul that it is going to have to tie into everything that has to do with their origins with their with their saying blood and the fact that they're gonna have to really dig deep into that freaking Ozaru that's just lying deep within them on some nine tail fox shit, okay? But, you know, obviously Dragon Ball came first. So I'm just, you know, saying that just to give you guys kind of like a visual perspective if y'all are struggling to understand what the hell I'm saying. So with all that, I'm sure I'm gonna have more videos to talk about this in, in further detail. I'm really excited to just talk more about this and I know that the Full Power Podcast just, you know, recently came out. We obviously didn't cover this chapter on that episode, but next week, we're definitely going to have Kai and Brother Uch to discuss further about this. I, I don't know if I can even wait until then. I might have to freaking just do separate videos either way. If you guys want to talk more about this, let me know. We'll figure something out because this, like I said, this is a very important chapter for the future of Dragon Ball. Mark this as a very important day. Chapter 82 was fire. Like, share, subscribe, hit me up on Twitter, all that good stuff. Support links are going to be in the description as always. Make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves. May the power protect you. Keep it locked loaded right here on this channel. Stay safe, stay clean, and stay the hell inside. I'll see y'all next time. Thank <laughs> you.